Cyber Holidays, gang. Welcome back to Snake River Fly. Um, hope everybody's enjoying this daylight savings time. I know that we are not so much, um, other than we're uh, spending a little bit more time on the vice. So it gets me uh, talking and thinking a little bit about what's working in our neck of the woods. Our lakes are um, still open and the river is running sweet. And honestly, man, I mean, if you don't go walking around with a leech right now um, of some color, black, red, brown, olive, you know, some of the tans are really on fire. Uh, you're missing the boat, some vicious strikes, you know, fish are trying to fatten up before before this winter sh rolls in. And so here we are pre-Thanksgiving and we're going to tie up uh, our newest, kind of funnest one. Um, we tied a bunch last year, but this is a balanced leech, a little bit bigger version. Um, this is going to be with the new material that we're going to release here any day called the Metallicord. Um, and the Metallicord comes in some rad colors. You'll have to follow us up on Instagram with that and what we're going to offer this weekend. But it's a really cool, fun fly to tie um, balance. So, mm, got one here in, in uh, uh, maroon and, and then one in blood leech. But same concept on a leech, just a little bit more flash in there. And we're giving a little nice shape to this thing. It wiggles a bunch, it hangs nice. Um, like I said, the hits have been pretty electric. So, without further ado, uh, I'm going to tie one in color that was working great the other day for me. And that was in uh, a California leech, you know, a little bit more of a light brown with a bunch of different you know, highlights in it, yellows, um, greens, and reds. And we do happen to have a zero G dubbing that uh, we call California leech. Works great for this one. And we also have the Metallicord um, in a great color for that. So. Basically, uh, we're going to do a um, balance bug. Um, so what we're going to do is start with uh, one of our pins. And this is one of the pins we have on the side. It's a little heavier, a little shorter, has a big heavy head on the front of that to keep stuff from falling off the front, add some weight um, as we want to make these balance bugs. And I'm going to put a small glass bead on the front of that, red, okay, that's going to hang out the front of that, um, but we don't have any weight, so we're really not getting the balance factor. So we're going to go ahead and add a small brass cone head on that, that's going to make um, kind of a little cyclops eye, which I honestly think maybe half the time they're hitting it just because of this bright jewel out front. Um, but this one's going to be a California leech. You can mix up the color of the glass bead, um, the cone um, as well, you know, uh, make them look pretty fair matched. Um, but black is fine. Yeah, that, that's what we were using the other day. It worked out great. I think some different colors, some different triggers, some segmentation. So I've just strapped this uh, mechanism on top. I've got a glass bead, my cone head, and my uh, uh, balanced uh, bug pin. Strap those on top with some um, Semperfly Wax 6 uh, uh Once I get to the point where this jig hook comes off, and this is one of ours, um, jig hook in a size 8, I'll do a whip finish here on the base. And what I like to do is just do a whip finish back here behind where it gaps out and then I'll just jump it forward and I'll do several down that pin and then when I pull this tight it'll pull back in to this gap right here and that keeps that on top um, you know, a lot more Shakira 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 okay so pretty basic at this point. I kind of pre-make these guys um, and put some um, either thin UV resin over the end or um, you know some real thin head cement and you know kind of coat all these so it looks a little bit more sweet jiggy style but we won't worry about that we'll do it at the end. 
All right, so here comes the total tricky part of this is we are going to take about eight inches of brown uh, metallicore leech lace. This has got a polycore in it that melts and stretches that's got some amazing flash in it with a beautiful mohair blended through it. And so go ahead and come up here to the start. I'm going to leave a gap behind this cone head because that's where we're going to finish the fly. And I'll just start this and strap it on top. This metallicord uh, tan light brown California leech color and we'll just strap that on the top. And so now what we're going to do is we will take a loop of that metallicore yeah, two and a half, three inches, three inches, three and a quarter, something like that. You can figure it out after you tie a few of them. I'm um, going to leave a tail out the back with the same piece. And now I'll just come over and attach that guy. So now we've got a tail hanging out the back of that leech. And this is, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't even call this a leech. I mean, it's more of a worm leech, so a lerm, you know. So the lerm fly. Good thing Brandon is around and can't hear that. Or the, let's see, the lerm or the, the weech. All right, so I have some zero G uh, gravity uh, dubbing in a pro pack. This is our California leech color. Um, if you're familiar with California leech fish in still waters, awesome color combination for typically early fall um, and into fall but you know we're pretty late fall right now and, and this one got them pretty good the other day so I'm just going to take a, a bunch of that out of our pro pack and I'm going to use the metallic core and I made a loop out of it and I left it for a tail just tied all one piece and I'm going to use this to make my dubbing loop right so I'm just going to take and put my zero G in there fill in the gap and then I'll take old-fashioned shepherd's hook here. And now we have a you know, dubbing loop, if you will. We'll stretch it out a little bit. Want a little bit at the beginning. Quite a bit up towards the head of this thing. Some of this will fall out. Some of it will stay. It'll look cool when we're done. Okay, so there's our dubbing loop. Made with zero gravity and metallic core in brown. California leech on the zero G. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work my way forward. Palm ring. So I can twist this a touch. You know, like a complex loop. But I don't want to develop a big cord. I want this to gradually taper forward. So I'll go ahead and give myself five or six extra wraps. Or ten or twenty on that. I'm going to rotate my vise the opposite way and this in theory will uh, unroll and not come back on me. Of course you could have done a half hitch and use your bobbin brace. So here we go we're just going to palmer this and work my way forward as I come around cover up my wraps combing the zero G back Filling in the gap. If this starts building up too fast on you, you can untwist it a little bit. Okay? So, like, looks like I got a pretty weird, big old hunky right there, right? Where it kind of fell flat. So, I'll twist a little more so it falls in there. Pack it tight. Then I can untwist it as I go. This is just a buggy, dirty, dirty bug, by the way, so all the way up to the front. Gets a little thick right at the end. You can untwist that metallic core. Now we're just going to secure it. A few in the front, a few in the back. And then cut our metallic core off on the top of the hook, which will be the bottom of the fly. 
Then we're just going to go ahead and give a nice clean whip finish. A little hot spot in here. Doesn't matter what color you do. I like these with uh, copper beads too. Lately we've been fishing these in um, pretty much every color except for olive. Dark brown, black, red's been working good. But this particular color, don't know why, probably like the burnt toast, is just really freaking lighting them up right now. Whoops. My scissors and my whip finish are tangling. And then, you know, I mean a little head cement on this thing couldn't hurt. Do that before you comb out all these fibers. Whoa. Got some head cement there. That's a lot of, this is a lot of Sally Hansons. Since we can't get the Spiegel, I know. the Ziegler, God, I love that head cement. But this stuff works pretty good. Then just put a little extra on there, kind of ends up like a cool little Cyclops bead shining in the night. And then I guess if you happen to have a lighter by your bench, you never know when you'll need one. The core of this stuff melts quite nicely. Ooh, more to come on that. But this one's been banging them. Bigger leech patterns um, that are definitely running level. Uh, got a hot spot, if you will, on it, all that kind of stuff. We're doing these on eights, but we have also fished them on tens. Um, anyway, something to do with your cone heads, um, something to do with more zero G, and uh, look for the metallicore coming to. Flash up near you soon.